Hey creative friends, it's Gwen and I'm back in the studio today for an unboxing video. I'm so excited about this one. This is brand new Gingham Garden. I've had a very quick look at this line. It is beautiful. I'm so excited to share it with you. So let's jump right on in. Starting with the paper pad, you can see here the beautiful colors of the collection. This one is very pastel, very spring, florals, butterflies, and does also have a vintage feel. So let's jump on in. It starts off with this beautiful cut apart sheet. And I love this butterfly element, so pretty. Some tags you can fussy cut as well. I'm trying to position it so that you can see really well here. And then what goes beautifully well with these gorgeous florals is geometrics. So we have this striped pattern. It's a beautiful shade of like teal green blue. I love this as well. This is more of a green and it's sort of like a tablecloth. It's a check, but it's a loose check. Next up, we have another green. This is a floral background. It's a deeper green as well. And I love that it's got a blue print. What was that old saying? Blue and green should never be seen. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> That's really pretty. I love that. That's lovely. Next up, we have a fussy cut uh, floral pattern paper. These will uh, go very well, nice and fussy cut out. I love that there's different sizes and different colors included. That's really sweet. And then to go with that, we have this print. It's a neutral. And to me, it looks a little bit like, um, what is it? Uh, wallpaper. I can definitely imagine using that as a background to a layout. Very, very neutral, lovely background pattern paper. Some very pretty butterflies in an ombre kind of print. Starts off with uh, like a brown, like a taupe cream color, then to the blues, greens, yellows, and up to red, pink, pink, red, more pink than red. <laughs> That's that one. I could um, fussy cut these ones out as well. They're very sweet. We also have this printed pink background. I would definitely use that as a background paper as well. So it's got irregular shaped circles on it. It does look like a bit more of a print. They're definitely not dots. And I love that. There's also this one here that is a wood grain with the uh, floral prints in the corners. I'm not so sure about that but I do love a wood grain. I think I would have preferred this one without the extra floral pieces, but you know what? It might still be okay for mounting as my frame. We'll see. Another green number, and these look like little circles of leaves. That's really pretty. That's a bit different. I like that. I do love the shade of green too. Really, really gorgeous. Oh, this is nice too. Isn't that pretty? It's a floral, like a mixed floral. It again, it has that wildflower vibe to it. I am seeing that a lot this year and I am loving it. I did not see wildflowers as a prediction for 2023. That one was not on my list. If you'd like to see what was on my list, I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. Next up, we have this beautiful print. I love this so much. This reminds me of wallpaper, and it's wallpaper that I would have in my house tomorrow if I could. That is stunning. I love that so much. So pretty. We have a cut apart sheet. These are always very handy for paper layers and adding bits and pieces. Lovely greens and blues and all the, all the tones of the collection. Love that. And then this one. Oh, this is really neutral as well. This would be a perfect background as well. It's like paint, peach paint, and then it's got like a, a whitewash over the top. That's lovely. Very plain, very neutral, but lovely. Another wallpapery style. This one does definitely gives me wallpaper vibes as well. 
I don't love it as much as that other one though. It's really pretty. It's a pretty green. I do like the tone of green in this collection. Sometimes when you have pastels upon pastels upon pastels, it can get a little bit wishy-washy. So I actually really like the addition of this more substantial shade of green. This is stunning. I really like that too. I know it's super simple, but that's a definitely, oh, that, oh that's a go-to paper for me. I'll definitely be using that. And it will go beautifully with this. Look at this. Oh, it's that same print from the um, like the wallpaper design that we saw before, but in color. Oh, that is so pretty. That is so, so pretty. I really love that. Next, we have yellow. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of yellow and I'm loving it. This year, there's been quite a few collections with yellow in them. I'm so happy to see it. Really love that. That's pretty. Then this one is a peach. I really like that. It's a filigree. Is it filigree? No, what's the paisley? That's the word. Paisley. I made years ago, I made a paisley cut file design and it never really took off. So maybe it's waiting for a time like this. I actually haven't cut it out either, I don't think. Maybe once. I'll have to pull that out and maybe I can team it with this paisley print. That's lovely. Uh, something more neutral again. This is like a travel journal. It says travel statement. Please read instructions carefully before preparing this form. And there's like time and date. That's quite cute. Next up, we have some paint stripes. They are pretty. That's a very good um, indicator of the colors in the collection as well. So you can see quite a few and quite a few combinations that we're able to work with and like we there's a lot of pattern papers because we are still going here this is a similar print to those florals we saw on the wood grain uh, but obviously in white and beige so a little more neutral I do quite like those I think they will be nice fussy cut out as well there was actually a floral that was similar to that in the carousel collection that was printed on black and white the florals were black lines and I loved using those in my layers so the same thing might apply here Ooh, this one this one I'm not sure about that at all oh yeah that one that one's a little bit weird to me is that in the right paper pad <laughs> oh let me know do you like that oh, I don't know about that one friends this one's okay this is the right color I think this one could be quite nice in small doses I think it just looks a bit much because it's all one big print that will be interesting I wonder if these will look better fussy cut out or something oh, I think I I think I could work with this one this one though eep Oh, I don't know. Okay, there's that. And then I think, oh, finally, we're back to the beginning. So that is a, a lot of pattern papers, isn't it? So many. Have a look through them. So many to choose from. Florals and cutter parts and geometrics. I love them all. Next up, let's do the 12 by 12 chipboard stickers, 60 pieces, lots and lots in here. And I have already checked the alignment looks good. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It happened one time out of all the collections I've ever bought from American Crafts. It happens once and now I'm like paranoid about it. So funny. Okay, there are lots of lovely elements on here. Beautiful tags and roses, lovely day, cute little uh, floral pieces. There are a couple of those little planter. Do you know what? They're just a bit too whimsical for me, I think. I don't know about those. That's pretty though, the wildflowers and the birds, lovely. I love us. Camera, even the camera's a bit cute, isn't it? And we've seen, you know, cameras for a long time. I do like that one. The stamp's beautiful. I love that. Yeah, that's really nice. It looks to be the same sort of similar quality. And I will go ahead. Um, I've done a couple of videos on that. I punch all of these out and then I remove the sticky from the back. 
and then I actually store them in a Ziploc bag. I prefer to have them out and to be able to use them as embellishment pieces, die cut pieces, even just thick die cut pieces rather than stuck in here where I can't audition them. The alignment is beautiful. Very happy with that. They nailed that nail that this time lovely what's next uh, let's do this this is new 20 stationary papery pack so i got this for paper layers essentially uh does is it only 20 it's only 20 pieces but i liked how unusual different these were Here's a look at the pack. So there are 20 pieces and they're a really beautiful collection of different things, including, wait for it, this cute little bag. Oh, I'm going to hoard that, no problem. <laughs> I don't know, what can I put in there? How cute is that? That is going to be hoarded for sure. There are also a bunch of really fun little elements like these cute little cards. I love those. And there was a couple of those, like little tab cards. Uh, again, with this little, um, what do you call that? I don't even know. But that's, I guess that opens up as well. So you can put little, let's open it up. Oh, it even has, so it's got little pockets in there already. That's a bit cute, isn't it? I really like that. Let's put that like that. So I remember that it goes with that. And then there was this little one as well. What is that? Got a little, oh, it's got like a little press button. That's a bit cute. Uh, little die cuts. Oh, that's pretty. A little vellum envelope. We've talked about these before in the, obviously if it's a scrapbook layout, I guess it goes that way. And then if you're going to gift it, well, you just put something in it and then send it. That's cute. I'm loving the detail on this one. It says insert photo here. So you can put a little photo in there. That's very cute. Um, some other little die cuts, little tag. That's cute. Love. Oh, that's a bit sweet. I'm actually really liking these bits. I have been working in my journal. I haven't been sharing a lot of that on the channel, but I'm loving these little elements. Maybe I can add them in. Two plus two. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That's on vellum little butterfly with some punched out circles happy day some like tickets this right here and then a couple more of these little pocket kind of elements they're fun very fun and then does that fit in there no but you can insert a tag or something in there how good is that i really like that pack that's called that was called a stationary pack even the packaging is pretty. Okay, next. Next up, we have this stickers, 91 stickers, and I'm a bit concerned. I think these could be clear. I am hoping they're not, but I think they are. Let's see. Are you clear? There's definitely, they're not a paper sticker. They are like on plastic. Yeah, and they're a little bit see-through. They're not totally clear, but they are translucent. Is that the right word? Uh, it's a bit of a bummer for me. I find working with stickers like this a little bit tricky because you can see when they're placed over the top of, say, a busy pattern, they get lost. So I think that's a very interesting choice. Oh, I think what I'm going to have to do, though, is stick them onto plain white cardstock and then cut them out, which is a bit of a bummer. We'll see. I might be able to use them strategically and place them on more of a white background. Um, they are super pretty, though. Super pretty. Yeah, but they're definitely a plastic, like a plastic sticker. They are not a cardstock paper sticker. That's that. Next up, I did get the thickers though, and they look to me to be traditional thickers um, on foam. And there's quite a few here, and they're quite large, but they are lovely. Some really nice titles like Love, Love This, Best Ever, Everyday Magic, Write It Down, The Banners Are Cute, My Reason to Smile, That's Lovely. These are pretty. They are quite big. 
feels like home. But we're kind of getting used to that from American Crafts, aren't we? That's cute. And there are some smaller ones, which is nice. I'm glad they have added in these here. I'm glad they're all not super giant. And these are definitely on card. So these are quite matte, which sort of makes these... I don't know whether you can see it. I hope you can see it. They are... This is very plasticky and shiny. This is still very shiny, but the paper behind the shine is very matte. So there you go. They do look lovely, though. I will be using these for sure. I'll use these too. I'm just whinging. Next up, we have... I did get this embellishments. I don't think I'll... Oh, can I open this one? So um, a bunch of sequins. They look quite fun. Then some wood buttons, some traditional wood bratty kind of buttony looking things. They've got some cute designs, butterflies and florals. I do really like those. Coco Vanilla Studio do these and I love them and I use them a lot. So I know I will work with them. And then there was these little gold florals. These are pretty. How sweet is that? It's like a little birdie. And then there are a few little leaves that you can pop into your layers. But then there are these two florals as well. Gorgeous, look at the shine on that. Shiny, <laughs> so pretty. Loving those, where can I put those? Cause I don't wanna get things mixed up. Okay, so that's those. I did also get the little packet of enamel dots, 60 pieces and a nice spread of colors from the collection. I do like the little flower shaped ones. Very sweet. These are like the sprinkling little details to add to your page. Uh, I also got the ephemera pieces and I can see already some of these little <laughs> plants. I'm um, not sure about those. Here's a look at what's included. So what is that? 50 pieces. And there's lots to love in here. Even if we exclude these guys here. There are some beautiful, beautiful icons, little roses, very vintagey, little tags, titles, lots of die cut floral and like frame sort of style things. I think there's even some tickets in here. So sort of similar tags and tickets and just little pieces that you can insert onto your layers my heart that's cute and then so more florals and smaller pieces it's a good spread actually size wise i do love these little postage stamps there's been a few of those i have loved those and the birdies i know i'll use those uh, more little vellumy pieces some of those paisley elements interesting and then another little bird very sweet and yeah, some little journaling spots, a few little bits and pieces. All of those are super pretty. And I did get this paper repack, which you would have seen. I got this same pack. What one was that called? Garden Party or something? I think Garden Party had a packet just like this and I loved it. So I grabbed it as soon as I saw that this was part of this new collection. I had to get this. If I had my time again, I would probably maybe even not buy these stickers at all and just stick with the um, the paper repack. So there's that. Here's a look at everything that's inside. And this is great for journaling albums. The papers in here are thinner. They're not your traditional sort of scrapbooking thickness. But when you're using them in your journals, that's actually good. I feel like it doesn't matter either in the scrapbook layouts because you've got dimension and interest in other elements. So you've got your thickers that are thick. You've got enamel dots and sequins and things. So the fact that these are a bit thinner doesn't bother me one bit, even in my scrapbooking. And there's a huge, huge selection. So 200 different elements that are in this pack and you get doubles of most of them, I believe. Um, really, really useful for all kinds of crafting, which I am sort of getting all about. If it if it's to do with paper, I'm here for it. So it's nice to have some products that will go across the different paper crafts that I've been doing. How pretty is that? 
Sing Your Song. I like that so much. Little um, Albert. See, that would be just so great to be part of like a little junk journal, part of a card base if you don't want to add bulk. Oh, there's a bunch in here, isn't there? Oh my gosh. See how many? And I, I believe that this was... I don't know, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I remember last time when I bought it, I couldn't believe the deal. It was a screaming deal. Oh, I really like these papers as well. Oh, that's pretty. That's that same. I really like that motive. I'm glad that they're in here as well. Look at that. Oh, there's another one. I can't help myself. I want to keep them together. It's so funny. Lots of different textures. Lots of different prints and depths. That's really pretty. I like how dark that one is. Little tags. Where's your buddy? Oh, here we are. Here you are. And then, what's this one say? Notes. That's very cute. And then, yeah, lots of those. So they're the sort of bigger ones. And then they go down to, there are like quite a few little sort of medium-sized ones, like tags like this, little floral pieces. Oh, that's pretty that's really pretty and then sort of they're all the medium size ones and then oh so many look at them all dream a little dream that's pretty butterfly land I wish I could find a big butterfly oh that's pretty palettes it's a problem with these really pretty ephemera is you've got to inevitably when you're creating your layers you have to cover up some of them that's the hardest part when they're all this lovely Oh, I love the little alphabets and like, yeah, so many pieces. And then some smaller pieces that say forever. These look like stickers to me. And I remember we talked about that last time. Some of these are papers and some of these, these ones, these smaller ones are all stickers. And they are lovely. Forever, little strips of paint, all good things. And then there's some floral stickers. Sweetest, just for you. So fresh so lovely yeah loving those paisley they're all sort of similar icons oh if i yeah if you're on a real budget and you couldn't get everything i would definitely get this and maybe just the paper pad that could be enough hey very good oh so sweet yeah so super happy with this look how many pieces i'm still going there's so so many pieces in here discover oh that's cute it's like a little um what do you call that i don't know what you call that so so many elements and then that's the lot that's everything i don't think that's everything in the collection but that is everything that i purchased i do believe there's washi tape as well and there might there might even be maybe i did get everything else except for the washi tape or oh, might be a stamp set possibly uh, but that's everything that I got. I hope you enjoy this little walkthrough. If you have a bunch of Maggie stash that you need to use up, you need to check out my series Maggie Homes Monday, where I have been using up a bunch of my Maggie Homes stash. I want to say there's like 30 videos in that series now. Thank you so much for being here, my creative friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye!